Bloodlawn Champions is basically the result of a group of gamers coming together with a burning desire to create the greatest online arena PvP game ever. To create a game that we, as gamers, would want to play. That's what we want to achieve here at Stunlock Studios. With Blood and Champions, we want to create an online arena game that is accessible to all types of gamers. Hardcore gamers, competitive gamers, casual gamers, anyone. Accessibility is perhaps one of the game's most defining features. That's why the game's powerful matchmaking system is so important. It's incredibly easy to find other players at your own skill level, and this makes it very easy to get right into the fun. The game is also very easy to just pick up and play. The controls are extremely intuitive and it won't take you long before you're skillfully defeating your enemies in battle. Another thing we want to do with Bloodline Champions is making sure it focuses on player skill. You can forget about critical hits, you can forget about passive avoidance abilities, you can even forget about target locking. Everything is real time. Your fireball will go in whatever direction you're aiming in and skilled enemies can jump out of the way. It's all very quick, very intense. This is the true strength of Blood and Champions as an arena game. You don't have to worry about other players leveling up their characters beyond yours. You don't have to worry about other players having better equipment than you. The bloodline you bring into battle is predefined. Maybe you're a tank, maybe you're a ranged damage dealer, maybe you're a healer. Whatever you end up choosing, you're on equal footing with other players who also choose that bloodline. It's how well you play that bloodline which ultimately brings success or failure. The bloodlines are probably the heart and soul of bloodline champions. With over a dozen bloodlines to choose from, each with their own unique powers and playstyle, there is always something new to experience, something new to master. Maybe you'll be playing the engineer, defeating enemies with your cannon and getting out of trouble using your trusted jetpack. Or how about the igniter, hurling fireballs at your opponents and summoning up volcanoes to engulf the enemy team. In Bloodline Champions you'll find three different game modes and each battle can be played from 1 vs 1 to teams of 5 vs 5. The arena mode is a straightforward team vs team battle, while Conquest will see each team fighting to control certain points on the map. Capture the artifact on the other hand is all about capturing an object from the enemy team while making sure your opponent doesn't capture yours. All of this furious action takes place on a wide selection of different maps, from wet jungles to ancient temples and all of these locations really hold a lot of atmosphere. The game's visual expression is distinctly tribal. They've gathered a lot of inspiration from indigenous cultures, and I think that definitely comes across in many of the Bloodline models, which are all hugely different from one another. They've also gone to great lengths to make sure that the game runs smoothly on a wide range of systems. And I really think that we managed to find a great balance between visual quality and accessibility. One of the great qualities of Bloodline Champions is how it opens up to you over time. You may start out focusing all your attention on playing just one of the Bloodlines, but little by little you will start mastering a wider range of Bloodlines. Then, after a while, you might start analyzing your own performance by going through a wealth of statistics available in the game. Maybe you'll work towards unlocking rewards, perhaps you'll even get into competitive tournaments. Whatever you choose to do, you'll always find something to enjoy in Bloodline Champions. 